Good evening. I tell you, today uh, the city of Atlanta took custody for the 2018 college football playoff championship. So I'm a little groggy. I was rooting for Clemson. So I'm feeling pretty good tonight. Uh, tonight is really a special occasion. I do want to take a point of personal privilege uh, and acknowledge the members of the Atlanta City Council. Our council president, Cesar Mitchell, is here. I see the Dean of the Atlanta City Council, Council Member C.T. Martin. I see my friend Council Member Ivory Young, Council Member Kwanzaa Hall, Councilwoman Keisha Lance Bottom, Council Member Alex One, Council Member Andre Dickens. I have it. All right. Would you all please? Oh, hey, y'all. Oh, hi, that's my sweetheart. Oh, wow. Last was the best one. Absolutely. Um, would you all please raise your hands? Give them a huge round of applause, please. Uh, I also want to have uh, my fire chief, Joel Baker, and I want to have uh, Chief Pat Labatt join me on stage as well for this important occasion. I would never forget you, Joyce. I understand that we have a robust Leadership Atlanta Class of 2015 crowd. <laughs> Here for an appointment by a member of the Class of 2000, so that says... <laughs> Kind of fantastic. <laughs> I also want to thank my friend uh, Dave Wilkinson and the Atlanta Police Foundation and my friend Duria Faruqi and the Atlanta Committee for Progress for their leadership this evening. I also want to thank John Dyer who will be leading uh, the ACP. Please give John a terrific round of applause. He can't do On December 28th, I had the high honor and privilege of attending the formal swearing in of Erica Shields as our new police chief, police chief with the Atlanta City Council and City Hall. For good measure, we're going to do it again tonight. I have to say that this process never gets old when you have someone who is talented as Chief Shields. It just reaffirms that I made the right choice in promoting this dedicated career APD officer to lead the Atlanta Police Department. Erica Shields will continue our efforts to make the city of Atlanta, Dave, the safest large city in America, and you have been essential in that effort. Please give Dave a round of applause. <laughs> Now, my chief of staff, Candace Bird, knows that I felt really good about this appointment. But I really felt good this weekend when I walked into the command center at the Joint Operations Command Center, and uh, we were getting ready to be briefed. And she was by my side, and the first thing that she said to me was, everything's in control. And I completely believed it. Those folks who know me know that when you say that, you had better be able to back it up, Kathy <laughs> and Yvonne. I could not have felt more confident that our police force was in the right hands at that moment as we entered a level three emergency response. With her vast background in technology, assisted monitoring and response, Chief Shields and her team stayed on top of the situation in the event that things turned critical. Her preparation and her diligence were no surprise and were on display. Last summer, the city of Atlanta experienced large public displays of civil disobedience during the Black Lives Matter protests. At the time, Deputy Chief Shields helped us coordinate a strategic response to a fast-moving, unpredictable, and sensitive situation with Chief Turner. After the Pulse nightclub shootings in Orlando last June, Erica Shields stood by my side as we addressed the LGBT community in Atlanta and helped calm the great anxiety that was ravishing that community. We let them know in no uncertain terms that we were committed to protecting and fully supporting their community. And in fact, we are all one. Our commitment to diversity is rooted in our collective understanding that it makes our city and our workplace and our community stronger. I could not be more proud 
to be mayor of the first city in the South to achieve a perfect score on the Human Rights Campaign's Municipal Equality Index. And we've achieved that number for three years in a row. Our police force nearly mirrors our city's population racially, and it strives to understand the nuances of all of the communities that make Atlanta one. Our diversity is a part of what makes Atlanta, the police department, so effective. Chief Shields is career APD, and I can't tell you how many police officers have stopped me as I move around Atlanta and grabbed me and said, Mayor, you made the right choice. Her climb in the department ladder has included stints as sergeant, lieutenant, major, and deputy chief. Chief Shields' resume includes work on a plainclothes assignment in Zone 3 for approximately eight years. Now, you stayed on that one for a while. <laughs> that assignment involved conducting multiple search warrants, narcotics and vice details, and investigating robberies and bringing them to close. As Deputy Chief, Erica led the APD's Field Operations Division. At the Atlanta Police Department, Erica Shields has pretty much done it all. She has been on the front lines as the department has grown to 2,000 officers, the largest force in APD history. She was appointed Deputy Chief in 2011 and was responsible for advancing the department's state-of-the-art video integration center, which now has access to more than 8,000 cameras. Her deep research on technology that supports crime analysis is vital to the future of policing in our community. She has the foundation to be one of the best and most qualified police department leaders in the United States of America. As mayor, one thing I always hear is that we should train and hire our leaders from within. I am pleased to share with you that all of the finalists for this police chief's job came from within. When President Obama was looking for police departments to be a part of the national conversation on 21st century policing, the city of Atlanta was selected as one of those 15 cities. Once again, Chief Shields was involved. Erica Shields has had a lot to do with all of the success we have had. She is an exemplar of responsible, diligent, and courageous big city policing with a heart. and know that she will make us all proud. Congratulations, Chief Shields. When a judge corrects you, uh, you... Chief of Staff, please. <laughs> Our outstanding Fulton County District Attorney, Paul Howard, is in the room, and I missed him. Please give Paul a warm round of applause. <laughs> and now the fun part, Judge LaGuerre. Thank you. And if I could take a point of personal privilege, the 2015 Leadership Atlanta New police chief is being sworn in by the 2012 Leadership Atlanta <laughs> judge. Nice. All right. Put your right hand. Raise your right hand. Put your left hand on the Bible. All right. All right. If you will please repeat after me, I, Erica Shields, I, Erica Shields, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I'll faithfully and impartially, that I will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of the chief of police, discharge the duties of the chief of police during my term in office, during my term in office, and that in all things pertaining to the office of the chief of police, and that all things pertaining to the office of the chief of police, I will be governed by the public good. I will be governed by the public good and the interests and the interests of the city of Atlanta of the city of Atlanta. I swear I swear that I will support and defend that I will support and defend the constitutions and the laws of the state of Georgia the constitutions and the laws of the state of Georgia and of the United States of America of the United States of America. I swear I'll observe the provisions of the charter I swear I will observe the provisions of the charter, ordinances and regulations, ordinances and regulations of the city of Atlanta, of the city of Atlanta, and that I will uphold and support, and that I will uphold and support 
the ethics code thereof. The ethics code thereof. I further swear. I further swear that I'm not the holder. That I am not the holder of any monies. Of any monies under the government of the United States, under the government of the United States, any other state, any other state, or any foreign state, or any foreign state, which I am prohibited from holding, which I am prohibited from holding by the laws of the state of Georgia, by the laws of the state of Georgia, and that I am not the holder of any monies, and that I am not the holder of any monies unaccounted for, unaccounted for, do this state, do this state, or any public political subdivision or any public political subdivision or authority thereof or authority thereof I further swear I further swear that I am otherwise qualified that I am otherwise qualified to hold the office of the chief of police to hold the office of the chief of police according to the constitution and laws of the state of Georgia according to the constitution and the laws of the state of Georgia and the authorities and charters of the city of Atlanta and the authorities and charters of the city of Atlanta so help me god so help me god congratulations <laughs> Good evening. Thank you for all of you for being here. I need to start by thanking Mayor Reed so much for this opportunity. I have been fortunate enough to witness firsthand the interaction between City Hall and the police department over the last seven years. And Mayor Reed's support of the police department has been utterly unwavering. But even more so personally, I am extremely grateful to Mayor Reed's faith, that he, the faith that he is showing in me. Thank you, Mayor Reed. I was very fortunate to learn from Chief George Turner over the last seven years, and I am grateful for that. His leadership strengthened the department in so many ways. Dave Wilkinson, you have been an extraordinary partner for the department. You have been loyal and constant in your support and belief of APD. Thank you. To the board members and staff of the Atlanta Police Foundation who are here, thank you. Because of your involvement, the Atlanta Police Department has been afforded numerous opportunities that make us more effective now than ever. You have allowed the exceptional men and women of the department to continue to develop into extraordinary leaders for both the present and the future. City Council members, I would name you all, but I won't be as proficient as Mayor Reed, so I'm not going to try. Thank you for being here. It's been a pleasure getting to know each one of you and getting to work with each one of you, and I look forward to continuing to do so. And Duria, thank you. You have always been a friend. I am truly humbled to have been given this opportunity to lead the Atlanta Police Department. The city's history and all the challenges faced by those before me make this honor somewhat overwhelming. The last 21 years of my career have been with the Police Department, the Atlanta Police Department, and with each assignment, I've been allowed to see the city and the department through a different lens. And it is through this glass mural that I will exercise thoughtful decision making. Since taking over as chief, I have made some changes in the command staff. And I believe these changes will allow the department's leaders to excel and in turn to continue to make our department stronger, more resilient, and a continued national and international leader in law enforcement. Crime under Mayor Reed's administration is down 27%, 3% for the year of 2016. But that does not mean that we do not have our work cut out. There are multiple challenges facing our department. But the good news is, I know how incredibly talented the police department is and how much support we are afforded. And while it has been a challenging time in law enforcement nationwide, as departments and communities have clashed over critical issues, it has also created opportunities for change and for discussion. The Atlanta Police Department is committed to continuing to lead in this space. 
The department has an obligation to all of you that are here and to the city as a whole to provide the highest level of safety and in a manner that is consistent with a progressive and forward-thinking department. And the cops in this room will get it done. Thank you. May God be with you.